Damian Maya against Tarhim Asbaral. We talked a lot about it. We we gave clear and concise opinions about that fight. We we put our, our reputations on the line going into it. <laughs> And we turned out to be right for once. The cooler didn't didn't uh, let us down. My bet of the week came up. Your uh, bet of the week. Uh, all right. Listen. These. Th- what was my original bet of the week? Submission. D- Demi Maya by submission. I oh, talked you. Talked you off the ledge. You did. You did. <laughs> you did. In fairness, you did talk me off the ledge. But nonetheless, uh, the severe May bet of the week came up anyway. <laughs> it was actually. It was a tougher fight for Maya than I actually thought it would be. Um, Look, when the fight was on the feet, obviously Masvidal was winning, but he wasn't bringing enough uh, output after maybe the first takedown that Maya got. You know, he he got it back on the feet, uh, obviously, in the next two rounds and stuff. Long periods of the fight played out in the feet. And Maya just wasn't thrown, or uh, Masvidal, sorry, wasn't just, he just wasn't thrown enough, wasn't thrown enough power shots. When you get, you know, look back at McGregor against Mendez. When he got that fight back on the feet, he took the opportunity and he knocked him out. Masvidal could have done that. He should have done that, you know. But he he just couldn't do it, uh, and Maya, you know, kept getting the takedowns, kept getting on his back, you know, into mounds, different places. Masvidal did unbelievably well to defend and not get choked out, and to, you know, to just lose the decision. But you know, yeah. when very you, fine balance fighting Damian Maya on yeah. the on the feet, though. If you overcommit, he's going to take you down, and you're not getting up until the end of the round, or you're going to get submitted. He'll be on your back, so you you know that uh, you got to be very careful here. But you know that your your time on the on the on the feet is probably running out as well so it's a very fine balance and it's a very hard one to judge and i i, I thought um i thought maya clearly won the first and the third and i th- I, I thought the second uh was was masvidal um just about I, I it was very very close though uh the second round um but i think maya i think maya gassed his legs out a bit uh with the with the backpacking and the the body triangle in the in the first round he was he was pretty on his back there for for three or four minutes and um he looked when he when he when he switched out of the body triangle to the hooks i think that was a sign of of his legs being tired um and i think that affected him as the, as the fight went on but he doesn't even need a takedown he just needs to get under you slightly grab a hold of your leg and work from work from anywhere on the ground to your back and he's a master of jiu-jitsu mma jiu-jitsu he's, he's the best ever mm-hmm I've I have a question for you though, and this is might be a bit unfair question, but do you think Maya's recent run it doesn't show exactly what fighter he is? You know, people think about it as you know, Devin mentioned on the on the uh on the broadcast, he's kind of the last of the specialists left in MMA. You know, if you look back, okay, Masvidal was it was a tough fight, but he got him down, he was able to, you know, to destroy him on the ground, let's say Carlos Condit, perfect matchup for Maya, a bad take down the Vince will stay on the ground, will give you opportunities. Matt Brown, you know, kind of an easy fight for him. Gunnar Nelson was a, was a tough fight. He but made a bit of a meal of the Matt Brown fight. Uh, he did, yeah. Tell me why he did. But he still got the job done handily. But. Yeah, Gunnar Nelson, a jiu-jitsu guy as well. Like, the, it was, I was I was, I was going to be, you know, a tough battle on the ground, but Maya, you know, obviously showed he, he's best, better than him. Neil Magny, you know, similar kind of wrestler and things like that. Like... <sighs> All the matchups, some of them, you know, tough matchups, all very, very good fighters. But against Tyron Woodley, a guy who's he's going to find it very hard to take down or, you know, get his back or stuff like that, who hits extremely hard when it's on the feet. And, uh, you know, Dana White, Dana White confirmed last night he's getting the title shot next. Do you give him a chance against I Woodley? Think, uh, I give him a chance because he's so dangerous on the ground. But I think Woodley's a bad matchup for him due to his his attributes as a fighter and his um his ability to, to follow a game plan down to a T and be... Yeah unbelievably disciplined even if the crowd are booing the shit out of him he just doesn't give a shit and he, he he's just going to be so technical and i think um i think that damien maya uh he's old now like he's older now he, he's going to get tired a little quicker than i think maybe a few years ago maya wouldn't have been as tired uh in that masvidal fight as he was by the end uh so i think it's a really bad style matchup for for damien maya and i definitely pick uh tyron woody to win it but you can never rule out somebody like Damian Maya, who's as good on the ground. It, Tyron Woodley make one mistake in the first round and have uh, Maya on, on, on his back, and it, it changes the fight completely. Like Maya, Maya, may, Maya might might be able to submit him, he might not, but um, I definitely have to have to pick a heavy, uh, pretty big. I'll be pretty big on Tyron Woodley to win that fight. To be honest, 
I'd be very surprised if Tyron Woody doesn't win the fight by knockout, to be honest. You know, Miles really good, deserves the chance, but I just think he's a horrendous matchup for him, you know. As you said, he doesn't need to game down. Maybe he could get his back, you know, and Maya is dangerous. I, I could see Maya getting on his back, but Tyron Woodley's a good defender as well. He's good, like, he's good in all areas. As you said, the game plan as well. Like, he won that Wonderboy fight the last night, even though he probably lost. He won the fight because of his game plan, you know, and game plans can win you fights yeah. like that. And when you have the physical attributes he has as well, with that intelligence, that's very, very tough to beat. Yeah. Like where Damian Maya, even when you drop him and you're ground and pounding him, it's dangerous. You got you got to be very careful to, trying to finish off Damian Maya on the ground because he just needs to get a hold of something and he'll he'll work that into into an advantageous position for himself. And he's happy to be on the bottom on on the ground. He he thinks he's thinking in his head, oh, "I'll just turn this around now in a second. Like no butter. I'll just reverse this position." So he definitely has roots to victory, but yeah, it's a it's a bad style matchup. Um, um, Woodley's such a way better athlete, more explosive, uh, bigger puncher. Racist. Uh, <laughs> that's not racist. That's what <laughs> his attributes as a fighter. Uh, big puncher and a really good wrestler as well, and a really patient, um, good game planner. It, he's a tough man to beat, uh, Tyron Woodley, for anybody to beat. But I think um, I think maybe the man to beat uh, Tyron Woodley is a, a really high-level striker.